Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Lucky Land Casino. Asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. This is Beijing Bound. I'm Michael. I'm John. After the gold and silver success of British curling at the Winter Olympics in Beijing, all eyes will be on the wheelchair curling for Paralympics GB. Gregor Ewan was in the team when they last won a medal, a bronze in Sochi 2014, but also tasted disappointment four years ago in Pyeongchang, finishing seventh. We caught up with him to find out how his third Paralympics might fare. Another chance to go up the ladder a bit and try for the gold. So how exciting is it to know that you're heading off to another Paralympic Games? What goes through your mind when you, you get that confirmation, if you like? On the lead up to it, is, there's a lot of uh, worrying because there is another few members in the team and you just never know until the coach comes and says to you, you've been selected. So up until that point, yeah, you're worried about it. I mean, have I done enough? Have, have I put enough effort in? Have I trained hard enough? And to get the nod at the end of it, to say, yeah, you have, brilliant. And it sounds like, Gregor, you've really, really put that effort in to get selected this time. Because after the disappointment in Pyeongchang, you went away and, and kind of looked at how to get yourself back into the squad. Yeah, I had a couple of years uh, where I had to uh, give myself a good shake up and uh, change things in my own life. So after... I, Coming back for Korea, I was kind of, I was asking myself, could I have done more? And the answer was yes. Did I train hard enough? No. So this time, even up till like last week, I could have quite easily sat there and had been spies, but no, I was out swimming, I was out pushing. I mean, watching videos. So I know this time I have definitely done a lot more to make sure I'm in a better state of mind and my body's in a better state of play. So in effect, Ending seventh in Pyeongchang was actually more motivational than winning a bronze medal, which you did in Sochi. Yeah, yeah. It's sometimes good to get a good kick up the backside to shake you up and say, right, I need to do something different. Tell us a bit about how wheelchair curling fits into your life. Is it your be-all and end-all? Is it everything you do? How do you have to combine it with other things that everyone has? It used to be a case of curling uh, ran from April uh, from September to April. So it was six months a year. Then after that, I went on a hand cycling. But now uh, it runs all year long. There's no much time for anything else except from curling. Uh, between gym, CV sessions, uh, traveling up and down the road, uh, there's not much time for anything else except from curling. And what can you tell us about the situation in terms of how you guys get to the games, in terms of the support you have, the funding you have, for example? Uh, through British Curling, we are well supported. Uh, so I'm in Elgin. I travel down to Stirling once a week. Uh, me and Hugh Nibble, who's in the team with me, uh, we share a hotel room and we're on ice for eight to ten hours with the rest of the team, supported for Sheila, the coach, which, come on, I mean, for me, I believe on ice is the best practice that we could get is down here because they've just built this ice rink. And it's brilliant ice, so 
to be able to get ice in the middle of the summertime as well. It's made a great difference to us. Now, you mentioned ice. In, in China, the ice is, I think, in the where the swimming pool was for Beijing 2008. Is that right? Yeah, they've actually spent quite a lot of money on uh, building the bottom of the swimming pool up, putting a whole new uh, ice pad in. And to see it, you wouldn't even know it was actually a swimming venue. So the water cube has become the ice cube. Yes. How much are you looking forward to getting out there and who do you see as the main rivals? Host Nation China won the gold last time out, of course, as you will know. Canada have been imperious over successive editions. Who, who are we to look out for? Uh, I would say China are always going to be a strong team. Uh, you've got Russia, uh, Sweden. I mean, years ago, you could have said there's a couple of weak teams there. But in the last eight years, I've seen a vast improvement in nearly every nation. I mean, what it's, yeah, I can maybe see one or two weak, weaker teams, but they're no, what they used to be years ago. They've actually put the hard work in themselves, but uh, definitely China, Russia, and Canada. So no easy. And us, and us. Well, I was going to say no easy wins, but what shape are Paralympics GB in? Uh, I think we're in a really good shape uh, going at this. I mean, the whole team, I could put on hand on heart and say they have put the effort in this last two years with me. Uh, and last question, is, is there some uncertainty about how it will kind of operate because of COVID restrictions or stuff? Or do you think these can be a safe games? We were quite lucky. Our Worlds was held uh, just at the beginning of November in China. So we were able to actually go into watch what will be the bubble and see how they were cleaning the venue and the machines they were using and everything. And uh, I definitely believe once you're in that bubble, you're going to be well protected because they were pulling out all the stops. And the British curlers are in action in the round robin all week. Good luck to them. And download our weekly Anything But Footy podcast for all the latest Olympic and Paralympic news, interviews and conversations. We're on Apple and Google Podcasts. Just search Anything But Footy. Sports Social Podcast Network. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group. Void prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.